heavy repairing. Heavy repairing device. I'll explain about heavy repairing device. Pinch pliers for suction of refrigerant. Hose for discharging refrigerant. Refrigerant returning bag. R600A refrigerant can. Adapter. Nipple pipe. Electric scale. Manifold gauge. Vacuum pump. Flux. Oxygen welding machine. Check the leakage at welding parts. I'll explain about the check order of the leakage of welding parts. Remove the cover of machine room. Check the oil state whether oil is inside the machine room or not. Leakage could be a primary root cause if the oil leak at the welding parts, such as comp, ceiling pipe, suction pipe, condenser pipe, hotline pipe, evaporator, drain hose or bottom of tray drip. If you find the leakage point, you must do re-welding. Re-welding after completely removing the refrigerant. Must change the dryer in the event of heavy repair. Remove refrigerant. Preparation before removing refrigerant to evaporator model. Method of opening both sides of three-way valve. If the refrigerator is two evaporator model, plug in for 20 seconds. Three-way valve is open both of freezer capillary tube and refrigerator capillary tube by unplugged power after 20 seconds. I'll explain about removing refrigerant. Prepare manifold gauge. Connect the both side hoses of manifold gauge hose to pinch pliers. Connect the center hose of manifold gauge to refrigerant returning bag. In this case, making refrigerant returning bag as flat. Open valve of manifold gauge. Pinch plier should punch at ceiling pipe and dryer auxiliary pipe and discharge refrigerant for more than 10 minutes. If there is no refrigerant returning bag, connect discharging hose to the center of manifold gauge and discharge refrigerant to out of the window for more than 10 minutes. Apply R600A refrigerant regulation of each country. Remove the residual refrigerant. Separate the refrigerant returning bag and connect the hose to the vacuum pump. Discharge the remained refrigerant using the vacuum pump for over 10 minutes. The welding. The inflammables must be isolated from around when welding. Take notice of burn for welding. Welding the detected leakage part and change the part. The weld from steel pipe to steel pipe and from steel pipe to copper pipe use silver solder. You must weld from copper pipe to copper pipe using copper solder. Eliminate the ceiling pipe using oxygen welding machine. Weld the nipple pipe. Weld after separating needle valve inside nipple to prevent the damage by welding heat. Exchange new dryer after removing existing dryer. Vacuum packaging must be used for dryer. Before the change, you must cut the inlet and outlet pipe. Prevent crack by oxidation. It's difficult to weld. Dryer auxiliary is compressed by flyer after applying welding heat when finished vacuum. Also at that time, it will be cut and welded. Vacuuming. Assemble sealing rubber to needle valve. Connect the left hose of manifold gauge to nipple pipe. Connect the center hose of manifold gauge to vacuum pump. Open left valve of manifold gauge and operate vacuum pump. The time for vacuum is at least one hour. Charging refrigerant. Scale refrigerant can. First, check the refrigerant amount through the spec label which is inside each model. 
Refrigerant can's refrigerant amount is 97 grams. Assume this model refrigerant amount is 70 grams. Connect the adapter and refrigerant can to measure refrigerant. Measure total weight of gas can connected adapter, 324 grams. Refrigerant amount of refrigerant can is 97 grams and needed refrigerant of can is 70 grams. Check to reduce 27 grams of difference. Open adapter valve to reduce 27 grams of refrigerant. Weight of refrigerant can is 297 grams after reducing refrigerant. Next I will explain about the refrigerant charging. Connect the adapter and injection nipple. Open the adapter valve and inject the refrigerant. Turn the refrigerator on and turn it off after 10 minutes. Close the valve and extract the nipple and adapter. Close the nipple cap after separating the nipple and adapter. Arrange the pipes to assemble the cover of machine room. Finally check the status of evaporator frost and heating of condenser. Check production. Connect the cover back MC. Apply power to product and check the refrigerator starting and cooling capacity. How to use UV dryer. Let me explain about the instruction of UV dryer. If you cannot detect the leakage part, you can detect it using UV dryer. It is classified into one evaporator and two evaporator. Please use the correct model of the part that you are using. Operate the refrigerator for over two hours after installing UV dryer. If there is a leakage of refrigerant while operating it over two hour, fluorescent material will be leaked at that part. Turn off and discharge the refrigerant again. Weld the part which was leaked fluorescent material again. Recharge the refrigerant after vacuum. If you can't detect the leakage part, recheck the fluorescent material leaked or not after 10 hours. If there is no leakage part, turn off the refrigerator and check the leakage at the low pressure after 2-3 to three hours. Use method of compressor test jig. I'll explain about use method of compressor test jig to check defective compressor quickly. Please use when flickering LED lamp five times by PCB. Instruction. Check compressor type. Separate connector after separating terminal cover of compressor. Connect FC terminal to compressor. If compressor type is not correct, it'll not be running. Connect jig plug to electrical inlet. Check operation by vibration or operating noise through putting your hands on compressor dome. Must discharge voltage remained of capacitor after checking by short-circuited the both ends of power cord by driver.